You Tell Story is an easy free tool that you can use to create narrated slideshow videos. First, navigate to youtellstory.com. Once there, choose sign up if you don't already have an account. You can log in with your Facebook account, but if this doesn't work at school due to the internet filter, just create a new account associated with an email address that you can check at school since you'll be emailed a confirmation link to activate your account. I already have an account, so I'm going to use the login option. Once logged in, choose the Tell Story button. Now we need to upload our content. Choose the orange Add Slides button to get started. Each image that you upload will become a separate slide and you can upload several images at one time. If the images live in your computer, choose the Upload Your Images option. It's definitely easiest if you've saved all of your images in a folder like this. Then you can simply choose Control A to select them all and upload them in a batch. With the free account, you can have up to 24 slides. Depending on the size of your images, this can take a while. Here are a few tips to consider when selecting your images. Make sure the images you upload are at least around 7 or 800 pixels wide so that they fill up the slide nicely. Also, if you are using a phone to take pictures, hold your phone in the landscape orientation to match the layout of the slide. Once your images show as uploaded, close the Add Slides window. Next, I'm going to rearrange my slides into the correct order by choosing the Arrange Slide Order button. Drag your slides into the desired order and choose Save. If you need to delete a slide, just navigate to it and choose the Delete Slide option. I think I'll now add a text slide to serve as an introduction for my slideshow. Again, I'll use the Add Slides button and this time I'll use the Add Text Slide option. I'll enter my text and customize it. My text slide has a pretty plain background, but I can use the Background Style button to fix that. The background style you choose will be applied to all of your slides, not just the title slide, so keep that in mind. After you have selected a background, choose Save. Next, let's choose a transition style to use when moving between slides. Use the Transition Style button and select your style. Again, this style will be applied to all of your slides. Choose your style and then save your changes. Another enhancement you can add to your slides is a text overlay. To do this, navigate to a slide and choose the T Edit Slide option. Enter your text. This text will appear at the bottom of the slide. Choose Save to apply your changes. It's a good idea to periodically save, so let's do that right now. First, I will change the title of this project by clicking the pencil icon next to it. In addition to a title, my project needs a category before I can successfully save it. I will choose Education. Now I can use the Save button to save my work. Now we're ready to add narration to each slide. You Tell Story lets you add audio one slide at a time, making it very easy to fix any mistakes along the way. Navigate to the desired slide and choose the Slide Audio option in the top left. When you choose Record, you will be prompted to grant permission for You Tell Story to use the microphone in two places. First, here in the Flash Player settings, and then in the top of your browser if using Google Chrome. After you have granted permission, just start talking. The first step in making chocolate chip cookies is to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. While you're waiting for the oven to heat up, gather your ingredients together. When you're done with the narration for that slide, choose Stop. You can preview your recording using the Play option. If you like it, choose Insert. If not, choose Record to erase the current recording and replace it with a new one. Repeat this process to add narration to whichever slides need it. 
If at any time you want to delete or replace a slide's narration, just go back to it and choose the slide audio link. You can delete the audio or use the record option to replace it with a new recording. Finally, let's cover a few features that you may not need but are options to know about. The first is the video slide option. If you choose Add Slides and select Add Video, you can enter in the URL of a YouTube or Vimeo video to use in your project. The Add Form slide lets you add in a question or poll to your project. And the Background Audio option lets you add a background song that will play throughout the entire slideshow. The free account lets you add up to two minutes of a song and remember to use copyright friendly songs if you decide to do this. At any point, you can use the preview button to see how your story is looking. The first step in making chocolate chip cookies is to preheat your oven to close the preview window when you're done. You can continue editing, or if you're happy with the results, choose the publish button to get a link for your work that you can share with others or email to your teacher. Stick with the publish as a story option and if you don't want your story in the You Tell Story community forum, select Private Share. Again, select Publish. You will be sent back to your You Tell Story dashboard, and from here you can edit your story or choose the Share option to get its link. Make sure to copy the URL link option to get the address of your story that you can copy paste to send to your teacher or use the email option to send the link to whomever you need to. You can always find your way back to this dashboard page by choosing the drop down menu next to the Utel Story icon and selecting My Stories. So that's how to use Utel Story, a powerful web tool for digitally telling any story.